I want to talk a little bit about interest rates today. Talk about the uh, the Fed meeting. Many Americans don't pay much attention to what the Federal Reserve Chair. Janet Yellen and the Fed do, but that could change very soon in June. The Fed could be doing something it hasn't done since Obama was a U.S. Senator raising interest rates. Don't hit the snooze button. The interest rate hike will impact everyone and has a huge impact on home mortgage, car loans, savings accounts, and money's in the stock money in the stock market. In short term, life is about to get better for savers and may get a little bit harder for borrowers. Investors could also face tougher times. What the Fed said on Wednesday, the losers will be borrowers and the winners will be savers, says Ted Peters, CEO and Bluestone Financial Institute's fund and former member of the Federal Reserve Bank of Philadelphia. And for mortgage rates, possibly on the rise. As the Fed signals this intention to rise interest rates, borrowers are rushing to get deals done now. There's been a huge rush in mortgage applications in 2015, driven by people refinancing to lock in lower interest rates. And consumers thinking of buying a house should act quickly to lock in today's rates. And that was said by Dean Crashore, the economic professor at University of Richmond and former Philadelphia Fed economist. And you know the challenge for the purchase buyers out there right now Really, it's just the ability, the lack of inventory in the market, and that's frustrating because the rates are so low, and being able to take advantage of them would be awesome. I just say don't give up the fight. Keep fighting out there, making your offer. Even if there's multiple offers, don't give up. Take advantage of these interest rates while they're here. The current 30-year fixed rate mortgage averaged 3.8% according to Freddie Mac. That's down from a year ago when rates were closer to 4.3%. Now, 4.3% not being a bad rate at all, looking at the historical trends before we saw the interest rates dramatically drop down. Uh, but you know, we could see interest rates go up, who knows, 5 6%. So again, taking advantage of where they're at now would be a really good opportunity. When the Fed likely raise, likely raises the interest rates, it will push mortgage rates and auto loans up. That said, it's uncertain if it will cause home or car buying to slow down. So we'll just have to see uh, how that is affected. Savers succeed. Ever since the financial crisis, people who put their money in the bank have gained next to nothing. With interest rates so low, people who played it safe have been getting the short end of the stick. That will be changed for better for people with savings account. Once the Fed raises interest rates, saves will be saving will be savers will gain more interest on the money that they deposit at the bank. The average interest rates on a savings account is a mere 0.44% right now, according to Bankrate. And savers can smile all the way to the bank, knowing that the job market is looking good as well. So let's talk a little bit about jobs. A big reason the Fed is planning to raise interest rates is because the U.S. economy is improving, especially in the job market. Unemployment is down to the lowest level since 2008, and in the U.S. has added millions of jobs in the past year. The labor market is improving, Yellen said on Wednesday. Uh, rate hike would be Yellen's two thumbs up that the economy is healthier. Now, the only concern is that the rate hike could hurt future wage growth. Many Americans haven't, haven't sensed the success, the success of the economy recovering because wage growth remains flat. The Fed would see wants to see it at about three and a half wage growth, but it's was only 2% in February. However, Yellen made clear that wage growth isn't the requirement to raise interest rates. Wages are usually the last measure, measure of the economy's health to move in the right direction. So let's talk a little bit about the stock market. Rocky ride for stocks. The stock market rallied big on Wednesday after the Fed released its official statement. Don't take that one day as a preview for the rest of the year. Investors were largely reacting to language in the Fed statement suggesting that the central bank won't raise interest rates in April and will likely raise rates only a bit June or later. Now, the biggest threat to the stock now is the Fed rate rate hike. Any rate hike will almost certainly have a major effect. Stocks are already considered expensive, and many on Wall Street fear that the markets are overdue for a correction when they drop more than 10% is what's considered a correction, which hasn't happened since 2011. A Fed rate hike could make stocks less attracted to investors, and it would also raise interest rates on U.S. bonds, which are considered safer investments. So spring is coming. What the Fed rate could set the sun at least for a while. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. We've all been saying all experts that interest rates have nowhere to go but up. We just haven't seen them go up yet. So that time is uh, is coming. 
Coming up next on The Money Hour, making the most out of networking events, how to work the room and maximize your effectiveness with the small amount of face-to-face time that you have with other business people. Get what you want out of the event. Deborah Trapin, Chief of SAS and Moxie Experience of D11 Consulting, right here at 1150 AM KKNW after the short break. <laughs> 